When you add Jeppesen charts into an experimental aircraft, some Garmin portable devices, or the Garmin G3X or G3X Touch avionics, you must purchase a chart view key directly from Garmin. The chart view key will be installed onto media through your devices or directly into your device using the free Garmin Aviation Database Manager. You can download the free Garmin Aviation Database Manager from the Fly Garmin website. The application is available for both Mac and Windows operating systems. If you're loading Jeppesen charts onto the ERA 660 or the ERA 760, you do not need to use the Garmin Aviation Database Manager to load the chart view key. That enablement was included when the device was manufactured. You will have to load the chart view key to enable some avionic and portable devices to display the Jeppesen terminal charts. The chart view key requires a one time purchase on the Fly Garmin website. To purchase the chart view key, scroll down to the Buy Databases page under the appropriate device on the Fly Garmin website. In this video, the chart view key will be added to the Garmin ERA 795 or 796 portable device. Start by opening the Garmin Aviation Database Manager to the Dashboard homepage. Select Portables at the top. Select Update Reinstall on the device you wish to update. If you're adding a chart view key for the G3X or G3X Touch, you will find that avionic by selecting Aircraft at the top of the dashboard. The Install Database Updates page will appear. The first time you load the Jeppesen charts, you must check only the box in front of Chart View Key. Select Continue. If a license agreement appears, you must agree to the terms and select Accept. Continue will turn bright blue and you must select it to move on. Now, connect the ERA 795 or 796 device to your computer through a USB cable. A status message at the top of the screen may remind you to plug in and power on a device or insert an SD card in your computer depending on the device being loaded. A menu at the top left will guide you through the process for your specific device. When the setup is complete, the Continue button turns bright blue and must be selected to start the process. A processing page may briefly flash, but quickly an Updates Complete page will appear indicating the chart view key has been loaded. If you loaded the chart view key directly into a device, you're done. Select Done to finish the process. If you have something like the G3X Touch or GPS Map 696, then you will need to place the SD card into the device to enable the unit. Once your portable device or avionics has the chart view enablement, you're ready to purchase and download Jeppesen charts and databases. This video provides the basics of loading a chart view key into certain Garmin avionic and portable devices. To view training on loading Jeppesen charts into Garmin Avionics or portable devices, go to Help on the Garmin Aviation Database Manager homepage and select How-To Videos.